Hi guys, Cynthia Luhu here. Um, this is for those of you that don't have a melting pot or that use a lot of UT and make big messes. Um, I've wanted a melting pot for a long time and I just didn't want to spend the money and I started watching vid videos and just got anxious and, and I don't have much patience so um, I figured out how to make one myself. And this is what I use. This is a Bath & Body Works oil burner. Um, but you can use like a potpourri burner. Um, I think you can even use um, fondue pots and stuff like that. And I had a really nice one and I didn't want to mess it up. So um, this is just a little uh, dog food dish when our dogs were puppies. So I use that. Um, and there's the UT in there. Um, and I'm just burning a votive inside there. And it melted... Um, not too slow, but slow enough that I knew it wouldn't be too hot. Um, and then when I'm done, I'll just blow out the candle, it'll cool, and then I'll heat it up next time I want to use it. And here's some I've made. This is one of my paper flowers. Um, that I, and this is one of my grunge flowers that I dipped in there, which will make it a lot stronger. Um, and then here's some just little, um, Prima flowers I've done. And so I'm going to put the camera back on the tripod and show you how I did it. And I'm not good at this yet. I'm just learning. Okay. So obviously you got to be very careful because there's a flame and hot UT. And this is some wax paper. And I made a little lid for my little um, dish just to keep help it melt a little faster. And these... Uh, I use these metal tweezers and when it cools off, it just pops right off all the UT does. And then this is what I was using for a stirrer. So I'm going to slide this over a little bit so we can get the melting pot in the view a little bit. Okay. So this is how I do it. Um, I don't do it, um, I'm sure I don't do it right, but I don't want my utensils to get stuck to it, so I do like almost all of it except where my tweezers are. And I'm trying to drip off most of the excess because it will all gather at the bottom. And I'll show you where it did that on one of them. And then set it on your wax paper. Um, it gathered quite a bit on this one. And I don't like that. So, I'll do the next one. And this is fun. I like to see how everything can turn out all shiny. This one will be cool. I'll peel it up carefully, and you're going to get little edges like that, but you can cut them off when you're ready to use it. So now I'm just going to do that tip that didn't get done before. And I tried to do it all the way, and then my tweezers got stuck to it, and I don't know, I just, I didn't like it. And this is just fine. And the pan doesn't get, or the little dish doesn't get too awfully hot. I mean, it does get hot. If you touch it, if you hold it, you're going to get burnt. But my hands are really used to getting burnt. So, now I'll let those cool. <coughs> And then I'm just going to cut these little edges off. Just the stuff I don't like. And then this one's still a little, this one's still hot. And the cool thing is when there's, it's still warm like that, you can kind of mold. You can still mold it around. I'm being quiet because it's like 
I think it's 6 in the morning. The kids got to get up in about 15 minutes, but I don't want them to rest while they can. So then you just put it on, you layer it how you want it layered, and then grab your heat gun. And I kind of melt that a little bit. And then place that exactly where I want it and heat that. Heat it real good so that they will uh, stick to each other. And then once that cools, it should be one piece. Let's hope. <laughs> and you can stick anything in UT. <laughs> you can stick ribbons, lace, stickers, chipboard, all kinds of stuff. And I will be doing that. Okay, I think it's cool enough. No, it wasn't. So if it's not cool enough and you pick it up and see if how I have a fingerprint on there, just take your heat gun back on it and it will fix it. See, the fingerprint is gone. So anyway, um, I hope you guys uh, make your own melting pots and have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.